Hey guys, welcome to another maths tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at functions, what they are, and uh, how it relates to maths, and also from a computer science perspective, what functions are. Um, so basically, a function is uh, an operation conducted on an input variable to give you an output variable. Now I know you probably listen to that and think, well, what does that mean? Well, I'm going to show you a simple example using Excel. So if you have a look at Excel, uh, let's say I have a cell uh, and I'm going to type a number into this cell. Uh, let's say I type in a number 10. And then in the cell next to it, in D4, I'm going to type in a function. and the function that I'm going to use is called the if function. So whenever you want to use a function in Excel, you press the equal key. So you press equals if. And uh, now let's have a look at the description of the function. Checks whether a condition is met and then return one value if true and another value if false. So if statement uh, basically is a way of evaluating a cell and let's say we want to evaluate whether C4 is bigger than 10 or yeah if it's bigger than 10 and if it's bigger than 10 we want Excel to say yes otherwise we want it to say no now let's see what happens so Excel has told us no because this number is not bigger than 10 now let's change this number to uh, 11 and you can see this cell is now saying yes because this number is bigger than 10 and let's say we put in the number 5 and no it's not bigger than 10 so now that you see a function in action in Excel uh, the if function you probably understand what it means from an Excel perspective but what does it mean in terms of maths let's have a look at uh, an equation that you've learned so far in maths let's say y equals 2x now basically uh, x you can think of as the input variable right because we decide what x is right but we have already said that y is equal to 2x so y is the output variable and 2x is therefore the function right which is the operation conducted on the input variable Alright, so x is the input, y is the output, and 2x is the function. So you also need to understand uh, how to rewrite a function using function notation. So if you remember in Excel we had uh, if bracket. Uh, so in maths it's sort of similar. We have a function and bracket. So we have the input inside the bracket and the output we put on the other side of the equal sign. Okay, so let's say we define our function as if the function of x is the input, so x is the input and the output is 2x. So this is our function f. Now if I give you uh, f of 3 
and I ask you what that is, well, you simply put 2x, 2 times 3, so that's 6. So basically, you follow the equation of the function, you put x where x is in the output, so 3 is the input, and the output is 2 times 3, which equals 6. So if I give you f of 7, then it's 2 times 7, which is 14. You can think of a function <clears throat> in the same way as uh, all of the equation stuff we've been doing. So y equals 2x plus 1, that can be rewritten as f of x equals 2x plus 1, and so on. And you can also graph functions where you put in the x on the x-axis and f of x on the y-axis and uh, 2x plus 1 so you have x f of x uh, so if x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 if x is equal to 2 y is 2 times 2 plus 1 which is 5 so we have x is 1, y is 3, x is 2, y is 5, and join up, join up the lines, f of x equals 2x plus 1. So this is uh, our graph of the function. Now let's look at a more serious definition of a function. <coughs> a function is a relation uh, with the property that for every value of x there is exactly one uh, matching value of y what that means is if you have a look at x equals 1 now when x is equal to 1 y is equal to 3 <clears throat> there is no other option for what y is when x is equal to 1 and when x is equal to 2 y is equal to 5 now if I told you that when x is equal to 1 y is also equal to 4 and that wouldn't be allowed because that would go against the rule that uh, uh, for every value of x there is one batching value of y. Now when x is 1, if y can be either 3 or 4 or both at the same time, then it's not a function. So therefore we can't allow that to happen in a function. So. The next section we're going to deal with the tests whether a relation is a function. How to test whether a relation is a function. Now if I give you a set of coordinates for the relation so let's say we have uh, a relation where uh, we have 1, 2, uh, 2, 3, 3, 4, 1, 5. So when x is 1, y is 2. When x is 2, y is 3. When x is 3, y is 4 when x is 1, y is 5. Now you can see that the x value of 1 appears twice. 
So if you've forgotten about relations, we have each coordinate pair, we write the x coordinate first and then we write the y coordinate. So here we have when x is 1, y is 2, and when x is 1, y is 5. So what's happened? We have multiple values of y for one value of x. So therefore this is not a function. Right, not a function. Uh, on the other hand, if I give you, so that's relation number one. Let's say if I give you another relation where I give you the coordinates as 2, 3, 3, 5, 1, 4, and that's it, then this is a function. Right. Uh, another thing that uh, you can also do is if I give you an equation, so let's say I give you y equals x squared, and you draw a graph of this equation, so we know that y equals x squared is going to be a parabola, so I'm just going to skip the numbers we can do what's called a vertical line test a vertical line test and what that means is when you draw a vertical line down the graph anywhere on the graph okay if you draw a straight vertical line downwards you should only touch the graph of the function once okay so the vertical line only touches the equation line once okay when you draw a vertical line downwards so <clears throat> y equals x squared this is a function so we can tick yes it's a function now if I gave you another equation let's say uh, let's say we're gonna flip that one around so I'm gonna give you x equals y squared uh, now what's gonna happen is y will be equal to uh, the square root of x because we're gonna square root both sides positive minus square root of x Okay, so that's going to be quite complicated, but basically, uh, it's going to basically it's going to give you a graph like this, where the hor the parabola is rotated 90 degrees. In this way, if we do the vertical line test, the vertical line is going to touch the graph of the equation twice so this is not not a function so this way you can test whether an equation that's given to you is a function or not okay thanks for watching the function tutorial see you next time